Man, what's going on guys? Hey, so is now the time to sell your Mullen stock? Crazy, crazy couple days, right? We saw a complete red. Today alone, we were down over 15%. Now, a positive that I will say is I've seen days like this before, right? And I'm gonna show you the charts in a minute and really what I'm seeing. Now, I did make some videos before saying I could see us come as low as 29 cents and today we closed right above 29 cents so if you haven't seen those videos go look at prior videos because i did say this is probably the worst case scenario that i could see in the short term but man this is not fun and i totally understand guys because my last purchase was at 34 and a half cents so i was hoping for the next run up but i guess dilution has been happening we needed to um come down a little more before the next run happens. So did I sell any Mullen shares today? Absolutely not. I don't think this is the time to sell. I will show you some things on the charts that if it does happen, then we could go even lower than before and that would not be a good sign. Welcome back to the channel though, guys. I appreciate you for tuning into today's video. Sorry, I did not make a video this morning. It has been crazy, family's been crazy, and business has been crazy, but I wanted to make you guys a video today. Now, first, let me tell you that the reason I am not concerned with my position in Molin stock is because I still believe in the company. If you've been following this channel, we go over the news pretty much every day. We've been following the partnerships they've been getting, the assets they've been acquiring. So nothing has changed for me when it comes to Mullen stock, even though we're chilling at 29 cents today. And I think a lot of times people are very scared because again, when we're running and we're having these green days, everybody's super happy. But on these red days, shorts are also taking advantage and this is where people start to get scared and they start to sell. Now I've never sold any of my Mullen stock on a red day. I've only sold my Mullen shares on a green day. So if you're part of the Patreon, you know this, I have a long-term bag and a trading bag. If you wanna know more about it, check out the links down below. It's $7 a month. We go over exactly the mindset with trading and also exactly how the Mullen charts look and really where the next move is gonna go. Now we went down over 15% today, but after hours, we're already up over 5%. So again, this is how Mullen moves. We can, it's very, you can get huge swings with it. This is why I've been trading it the last couple months. So again, I'm not too concerned. I do see a pop here soon. So a piece of advice that I could give you guys is remember why you bought into this company in the first place. Because we've seen days like this, right? I'm gonna show you the charts in a minute, but we've seen huge dips like this. I mean, prior to this, we've crashed, we've hit highs of about 47 cents and we've come all the way down to about 25 cents and that was a negative 44%, right? And then we ran from 25% all the way up to 44 cents. So again, this is all a mindset thing. So that's why I'm not too concerned about it because I've seen this before with Mullen stock. And we already know it's heavily shorted. Um, it's a newer company, so there, that, People are gonna use everything they can against Molin Company right now, okay? It's not a Tesla, it's not any of those other companies. We're just getting started. So you're putting your money in a stock that's very risky, but can give you a high return at the same time. So again, it's still holding levels that I have said before, so I'm not too concerned. Now let me show you the charts because if it does break this certain level, then I would start to be bearish on Mullen stock in the long run and I would be a little concerned. All right, so cleaned up the charts a little bit, but this is exactly how I have been reading it. So we can see this, these two yellow lines, right? We're forming this wedge right now. We're in a downtrend. Now I said I could see us go down to 29 cents and we hit 29 cents. And the reason for that, it was really the 236 level. I adjusted it a little bit on this so you can't see, but I'm looking at it right here. And the, the exactly where we hit today was exactly the 0.236 on the FIB retracement, right? So it makes sense that we hit this zone today. It's not a surprise at all, especially with PPI report, especially with shorts, with everything. So you gotta understand Mullen stock, and this shouldn't be a surprise. Now, I'm hoping 
we pop from here and then we go back and test this new 236 zone, which is about just under 33 cents. If we can close above that, then we could start an uptrend possibly. We also have the stochastic right here. I want you guys to notice every time it hits the bottom right here, we tend to rise up, right? You can go all the way back in time. Every time it hits the bottom and it crosses over, we tend to go on the next run. So again, this is short term pain. I still think we're good. If we break this ascending trend line right here, which is about 26, I would say about 26 and a half cents, then we might free fall. So that's really where you wanna look out for. I understand it's pretty scary, especially with what we thought we were going to, and we had some bullish momentum, some great news coming out, but unfortunately this is just how the game works. So you gotta hold long term if you believe in the company. If you're here to make a quick buck, a lot of people think this is just gonna run to $4 overnight and you're gonna make whatever amount you were looking to make. It's not really reality. And what I learned this last year with us being in a complete bear market is you really gotta read the charts. You gotta analyze where could the stock move to next and calculate your risk. And that's why I was selling some at 43 and a half cents. Now I did buy back in the other day at 34 and a half cents because I thought that could have been our floor but unfortunately it looks like 29 cents was our floor, but I'm cool with it. It's all good because I'm holding this more long-term. Now, if anything changes, if I start to get concerned about Molin Company, I will update you guys and let you know, but of course you gotta do what's best for you. None of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you guys where my head is at and what I'm looking at looking at Mullen stock, right? Another piece of advice, when we have red days like this, I start to think, okay, let me slow down and let me think 12 months from now. Where do I think Mullen stock price will be 12 months from now? Do I think it'll be at 29 cents or do I believe it will be higher? Personally, I believe it will be higher, but you gotta analyze what you think and do what's best for you. Have a great day. Hopefully tomorrow's a green day. We'll see what happens. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you on the next one.